Hi, I'm Melanie from Melanie's Vintage with Style. Um, welcome to my sale. Um, I'm just getting things set up a little bit here. Okay, I think that's better. That makes it a little brighter. Um, I hope everyone's having a good weekend. It was a pretty nice day today in New York. Um, I went thrift shopping. I usually try and go on Saturdays, and I went to a different kind of place. Um, it was a uh, thrift store. Um, that's storage lockers that people go to storage lockers and get things and then they bring them to the thrift store. So um, I made a video about it. It was a little different. Um, I didn't really like it as much as some other thrift stores, but um, you know, if they had things you're into, it was pretty cool. And it was still fun to go through it because all these different stores, all the stores are different. So they're fun. Um, okay. My um, email is in the description box. If you see something you like, just type more in the chat. And um, then um, you can email me your PayPal information. I could bill you that way. Um, I have it on subscribers mode. So just subscribe to talk or buy or whatever you want to do. Um, feel free to just get in the chat and talk. You don't have to buy. It's a fun night just to hang out and, um, you know, have some fun on this Saturday night. So um, let me start with my first item. Um, these are very nice. These are genuine amber earrings, sterling silver, and they're stamped 925. They're clip-ons, which I like because a lot of times um, it's hard to find clip-on um, earrings that are um, gemstones or, um, you know, like modern artisan type earrings and sterling silver. So these are really, really cool. Um, a lot of times clip-ons are really old fashioned. So um, I really like these. Now, these are going to be a buy it now. Oh, I'm not typing it in right. Of 29. So let me put them on the bus so you can see them better. Okay. Really nice amber. A lot of color to them, so you can see on the side. See little dots in there. Really pretty. And twenty nine dollars is a good price. They're sterling silver, nice size, and the clip ons. Oh my! The music I put on has commercials, but I guess that's okay. Yeah, so you're not really supposed to hear it in the chat. Oh, uh, where's my thing? I think I can skip commercials. So I guess those earrings will be a pass. And let me show something else. Um, anyone in the chat say hi. Um, okay, this is a nice fun piece. This is costume jewelry. And I love these necklaces. These are great for layering. And um, this is a nice one. It has this color stone. This, this looks like a stone to me. I'm not sure. It's put together like that. And then we have this is plastic, gold tone. This is possibly glass. But um, really beautiful necklace. Great for layering. And I love the colors on it. The black, the red, the gold. It's really nice. And this, hi, Michelle Brown. Welcome to the chat. This is costume jewelry, gold tone. This looks like it could possibly be a stone. And uh, these are glass. This might be plastic. Now this is a buy it now of $12. Okay, and let me put it on here so you can see how long it is. It's really cool. And you could put a bunch of gold chains with it. It would look really nice. Or just uh, on, you know, by itself looks really pretty. Um, I put on Motown music tonight for my background. Last last week I had on jazz, but it was a little too romantic for me to just sit here by myself. So I figured I'd do Motown. Um, so this is a buy it now for 12. And I guess this will be a pass. So how are you, Michelle Brown? No Dean Martin tonight. No, I put him on, uh, what was it, two weeks ago? And he just kept singing Italian songs. And I wasn't in the mood for Italian songs. 
so I didn't put him on this time. I got to find the channel where he sings other things. So this is a pass. Um, I wasn't going to do Easter baskets for my kids because they are not children. Two of them are 20. One's 21. And one is 18. He's a senior. But the two girls went out and bought their own things and made their own Easter baskets, kind of in protest, because I said I wasn't going to do it. And um, then I said to them, you think the boys are going to be sad if they don't get candy tomorrow? And they said, yeah. So I had to give my daughter my ATM card to go buy them candy. I mean, where does it end? I don't know. But um, I guess they'll all be happy. Why not? I mean, I guess you could stay kids for a little while. Um, this is the next item I have up. Yeah. <laughs> and um, these are really cool. These are Givenchy earrings. Um, silver tone. I mean, that could possibly be silver plated. I don't know if Givenchy, um, you know, silver plates their earrings. Clip-ons. They're stamped Givenchy in the back. Really, really nice. I don't know if they're the 80s or they're a little older. But um, they're vintage. And they're really, really cool. Givenchy. And these will be a buy it now of 59 Which is a good price. They sell them for more on eBay. And I think they're really cool. And they're not too heavy. And they're a clip-on. And that's one thing I do like about clip-on earrings is you can wear a heavier earring if it's a clip-on more than you can if it's a piercer or wire because, um, you know, you don't have that pulling on the center of your earlobe. But they are really cool. Um, let me put them up against here so you can see the detail a little better. Givenchy, here's the back. And they're a buy it now for 59 Um, oh, fell off the tree. <laughs> now, does anybody in the chat, do they do Easter baskets for their grown-up children, or is it just me? <laughs> Got a little water. Actually, my mom, for the longest time, I was married, and we used to go there for dinner on Easter, and she would have an Easter bunny on our dinner plate <laughs> when we sat down. So I think that's where I get it from. Um, I guess the Givenchy's will be a pass. Oh, Smokey Robinson. I moved away from mine, but still got her a gift. Oh, that's nice. Did she want something really big that had nothing to do with Easter? Because I don't know if that's going to be the next thing. Oh, it's Easter. Can I have an Xbox? Can I have this? <laughs> But maybe not. Okay, this is beautiful. This is Anne Klein. Beautiful chain for layering or just to wear by itself. These were very popular in the 80s. Um, it's nice because it almost looks like two chains put together. Gold tone. Here's the Anne Klein tag. It's really beautiful. Okay, I'm going to put it on this, this bust here. Okay. Oh, she FaceTimed me with a jacket on in a store and said, can I have it for Easter? <laughs> That's funny. I child within always wants. Yeah, that's true. Welcome to the chat. I kids never grow up. I'm, you know. Now, I'm going to my mother's house tomorrow, and I don't think I'm going to have an Easter rabbit on my dinner plate, but I'd be very excited if I did. <laughs> so I really can't complain about my kids. All right, let me put in a price for this. I'm starting to chat too much. This Ann Klein is a buy it now of 24. Really beautiful. You would too. You'd be happy getting Easter chocolate Easter rabbit tomorrow, Ian. Okay, very nice. Here's the closing. Very good quality. Okay, so this is 24. And I guess this will be a pass.
Okay, so how is it the weather by everybody tonight? Oh, it's pretty nice in New York. Gotta say, pretty nice day today. Um, okay, let's do something a little different. I'm going to buy one on Monday. Yeah, go out on Monday and you can get all the Easter candy for half price, like the peeps and everything. I always do that. I do that Valentine's Day too. I go out and get myself a big Valentine heart uh, the day after because um, I'm divorced. So no one buys me Valentine's. And I do with Easter too. I get the peeps and all the Easter candy. Now, this is a really nice bracelet. This is brand new. I didn't get this thrifting. I got this in an artisan village um, called Sugarloaf. And um, I don't think it's handmade. Possibly could be. But um, they had a couple of them in different colors. Some of the jewelry in the store was handmade. Some of it looked like um, it was manufactured. But this is beautiful. These are all glass stones. Now, this is metal and then they put fabric over top of it that's what's going on here and then the back these are glass beads and you just put it on like this and you can adjust it a little bit and it really is beautiful it's a really nice bracelet this is like a butterscotch color in the middle that has a little rhinestones and these are all glass and they're, they're faceted you can see they have um, little things on them now this is a buy it now of 29. Yes. It's a really beautiful piece. I really like this a lot. Really different. And like I said, this is brand new. This isn't from a thrift store. This is um, from a store in an artisan village where some of the jewelry is handmade, some of it's manufactured. But uh, I think this is really a different piece. What song are we playing now? I don't know. <laughs> see this i have the youtube on but it just says motown greatest hits it doesn't tell me what's playing so i don't know what the song is okay really nice this is the inside of it i don't know how good you could see it okay really really nice so this will be a pair uh looks beautiful with my dress actually i didn't think of it but yeah thank you the the red in it picks up the um, color that I'm wearing. Cool. Okay, so this will be a pass. Okay. Um, okay, now this is an interesting piece. This is mid-century. Um, it's a Ciro brooch. And this is Grypox. And it's big. And this actually also looks nice with my blouse, come to think of it. Um, it's big. It's really a statement. And it's mid-century. It's, um, I guess, Maltese cross is what they call it. And I don't know if you can see. There's the little um, cartouche, and it's a zero on the inside. It's, I think it's gold tone. Pretty sure. I don't think it's brass. I think it's gold tone. It's kind of a brassy color, but... Okay, and this is really, really cool, different. And this is gonna be a buy it now. Like I said, it's mid-century, Ciro is a mid-century. Is the music loud? Because I feel like I'm yelling over it and I don't wanna get flagged. Oh, let me lower it just a little bit. Okay, um, this is a buy it now, uh, 49. This is um, this is really an its collectible piece. This you're not going to really find anything like this. I haven't seen anything online that looks like it, and I know the co the company is a mid-century company, and um, you can see the Grypox is up on top. Really beautiful, and it's a buy now price of forty nine. Okay. And this will be a pass. I was saying when I um, started, I went thrifting today. And I've been trying to go to different thrift stores instead of always the church one that I go to in, in Goodwill. And I went to one today where everything in the store was from storage lockers. Like they go and they buy storage lockers that people you know leave behind and had tons of stuff in it. And I don't know, I didn't find, they didn't, the jewelry wasn't really, because I mean, I figure if people leave it behind, it's probably not worth a lot. 
but um, they did have like tons of movies and some furniture and different things there. So it was kind of cool to go, but it was really different, really kind of a different place. Um, this is the next item I have out. This is Swarovski. Now, um, this is the good Swarovski because it's made by them. Their name is right here. It's their jewelry. It's not just their crystals. The, the whole piece is their jewelry. So this is beautiful. This is really nice. And um, let me put it on here so you can see this better. Okay. I think there was a TV show on about storage lockers where they bought them. And then it was like a game. And then they all had to find out what everything was worth that was in it. And then somebody would win. It was pretty cool. Okay, look at this. This is beautiful. All the crystals are on it. It's a really, really nice piece. Okay, now I think it's gold-plated. I can't guarantee it, but it is um, Swarovski jewelry, so I think it is. And um, right here. It, I mean, it. this piece is big. This is a nice, big crystal ball. Very pretty. There's always little crystals in it. Um, this is a buy it now. Oh, something happened. Okay. Oops. Okay. Buy it now of 79, which is a good price for Swarovski. Like I said, this is a beautiful one. This is their jewelry. It's not just their crystals. A lot of times you buy jewelry and it'll have the swan or they use the crystals. This is their jewelry. It says Swarovski right there. So this is really beautiful, and it's a buy it now of 79. This is the size. Really nice. Um, let me put it on here so you can see it's it's like a choker style. It comes right up to your neck here. Very nice. Let me have a little bit more. Oh, it's funny. The picture that I have up there for the Motown singers, it's these four guys, and they're wearing yellow suits. I guess yellow suits were popular in the 60s, early 70s. Um, okay, we will pass on the Sporsky. Now, um, if anybody's watching in the playback, or even if you're watching now and you see something but you're not sure, you want to think about it, um, you can always email me when I go off. And you could buy things that way. I've sold a lot of things that way. Your ex-husband had a yellow suit. Oh, God, did he wear it on your dates when he went out, or did he buy it after he got married? Just wondering. He probably looked kind of cute in it, though. Um, what was I saying? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, you can email me if you want something when I go off, and you can buy it that way. Because I, most of oh, one date. Oh, did he look nice in it, though? Was it nice, or was it, like, yellow, like, like Motown yellow? <laughs> Um, I, I actually do sell most of the jewelry, um, after the show. Um, but you know, if you want something type one in the chat, if not, you can email me after or just hang out, watch, have a good time, chat, whatever you want though. Okay. So that will be a pass. The swimming. No, he didn't look good in it. Oh, so I guess that's why he only wore it once. You told him. <laughs> that's funny. Sometimes men don't know. They think something's nice. They don't know. Um, okay, here's a nice piece of costume jewelry. This is really nice. Um, it's seed beads. Um, really beautiful piece. It doesn't have a maker's mark. Um, so it's it has um, gold beads, blue beads, and then darker beads at the bottom. And this is the, the closing here. And then you can make it a little shorter if you want to wear it closer to your neck. And... Um, it's really a nice piece. It's hard. I want to fix it. So you, I guess you go like, like this. Oh, he loved the yellow suit. Oh, I'd love to see a picture of him with a yellow suit. Probably look like these guys that they got up here. They don't really look that bad. Just you know, kind of out of style. Um, this is the necklace and it has the ombre. This is, and you know, you could fix it. So it, but it really is beautiful. Really a nice piece. And um, this is going to be a buy it now of 24. Oh, it didn't go in.
what, 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 uh, when was it that he wore this? Was this like in the early eighties and he had it from the seventies or what? <laughs> I don't know. Now I'm starting to think about this yellow suit. <laughs> okay. Let me put it back here. Cause I think you can look at it better back here. I remember my ex-husband. He was from Sicily, and he grew up in Brooklyn, and um, had a hard time getting him away from those gold chains. You know, like in the '80s, the men used to wear the gold chains, and um, he was still thinking that was a, you know, that was in style, that was kind of a thing. And he got all my kids gold chains. <laughs> yeah, and this is nice. It kind of crosses over here, which is really cool. It's hard to see it. I'm trying to show. It's hard to see it. No idea where he got it from. Yes, he wore it in the 80s. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, from what I see, it's a 60s, 70s color suit, not an 80s. But the gold chains that my husband wore, they were 80s, but he was trying to, you know, get away with it like in the 90s a little bit. Bought every all the kids, and that would have been, that was the early 2000s. I had kids. Trying to get them. But um, anyway. I and mean, then women hang on to styles too. They like, I think it's not just men. But let me put it back on here. So this is a buy it now at 24. And it's it's hard to show, but it's really cool. It kind of like turns over here. It's really a nice piece. So this is a buy it now of 24. And I guess this will be a pass. It's nice because it's a statement jewelry. But it's not the typical 80s statement jewelry. You know, it's just, it's it's very cool. I thought, I thought it was a cool piece. Um, okay, the next item up. This is beautiful. This is Weiss. It's um, a Weiss brooch. Um, I got this online. It's um, a flower, like a flower snowflake. Looks kind of like a snowflake. It is stamped Weiss in the back. Now it's small, it's kind of petite. Um, I would say it's about an inch and a half and it's beautiful. I'm gonna put it up against the bust so you can see it a little better. Oh, I'm gonna turn it this way. Okay, all the crystals are on it. It's gorgeous, here's the back. And you can see here right there is where it's stamped white. Oh. Right at the bottom. Okay, small. Now this is a buy it now of 59. B I N five nine. Um, Mid-century rice, very collectible, beautiful brooch. Okay, this is the back. Oh, I spelt what did I write there? But it's supposed to be buy it now. Okay, there's the cartouche. Okay, very pretty. Okay, let me put it up against here again. It's hard to show these on the campus. They um, they get kind of blurry because they're so sparkly. And um, see, it, it's pretty high, has layering to it which is nice. Most of the Weiss brooches are like this. Okay, so this will be a pass. Okay, let me have a little bit of water. I have another brooch to show. The next one I have is a Crown Trafari. I don't know why I get so thirsty when I do these um, auctions. Actually, it was funny. I was I was reading something where, like, in certain states, you're not allowed to have auctions without a license. So um, they told you, like, if you're doing YouTube things and you're in that state, you should probably say they're just sales. I don't know if that's true or not, but I, I read it somewhere. So um, I say jewelry sale. <laughs> but this is a Crown Safari. This is really nice. Gold tone. This is rushed gold. Um, stamped crown shafari right here on the stem. This is nice. This is it's it's a good size. 
Okay, let me put this against the bust. Excellent condition. Mid-century, Crouchafari is mid-century. They stopped making it in the mid-60s. I mean, they made Shafari, but not Crown Shafari. And very good quality. It's a beautiful brooch. And this one is a Buy It Now of 38. Really nice. Smokey Robinson again. They play a lot of Smokey Robinson. Okay. I should have something where I can like get a drink of water and it still displays. I don't know. Like some kind of something to put up here. We're gonna just hold it up while I have some water. Okay. I guess this will be a pass. Now, since spring is coming, I am bringing back one of my good friends. The 1970s album. <laughs> it's very nice for spring. Very cool. Vintage 1970s. This is a piece of history. Owls were so popular in the 70s. And this is really cool. This is like a souvenir. And it's, it's great. It really is cute. And now that summer's coming, it would look nice in the summer. Um, and then this is good because it's also, yay, the owl. And um, it's also a good, you know, conversation piece. If you go out with your friends, you can say, oh, it's vintage. It's from the 1970s. It's, you know, you remember the 70s, whatever, even if they don't, if they're too young for the 70s. And um, Sarah Coventry had owls. A lot of jewelry companies made them that look just like this. And this is big. He's really cool. And this is a buy it now of $16 for the 1970s vintage owl. And he's white enamel, really big, really cool. And these are like, his eyes are like these little gems, you know, little glass beads there. This is the closing. And the chain has white enamel on it, white enameling. Can I put them on? Yes. I think I put them over my head. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He is really cool, I think. Really nice. Really big in the 70s. I'm going to leave him on. He could be my co host. <laughs> He's cute. Yeah, I think he's cute. He's going to be my co-host for the rest of the show. Ow. Remember, like, I don't know who remembers, but um, when I was a kid, they used to have, like, talk shows, and every once in a while they'd have a co-host. He's going to be my co-host. Okay. The owl will be a pass. Again, anyone who's watching later or um, what, see something, they can always email me, and you can buy it that way. Um... What do I have next? Okay, this is nice. This is mid-century. This is a coral necklace. I don't know what I got on there. Now I got a commercial. Gold tone. It has a hook in the back. Gotta hook it. Really nice piece. Mike Douglas had co-host. Yes. I was watching um, a documentary about Brooke Shields and they showed her. She was on the Mike Douglas show a lot. She was a little kid then. She was like 14, 13, 14. My grandmother used to watch Mike Douglas all the time. She loved him. She used to get in a rocket chair and um, get all excited. Mike was on. We all had to watch it after school. Okay, this is Gold Tone, mid-century, 1950s, Coro. Really cool. Okay. Okay, this is a buy now of 29. Really good shape too. The mid-century jewelry just, I mean it, it just lasts forever if you take care of it. It really is nice. 
It's got these nice gold leaves on it. And it's a choker style. It does have a little room to play with here, but basically you know, you're supposed to wear it close to your neck. This is the inside. And this is Coro. Buy it now. $29. Mid-century. Okay. This will be a pass. Um, I have, also have a nice pair of, what's the other one? Swarovski clip-on earrings. Um, let me put them on here. And these would actually go nice with that necklace. It's not a set, but you could wear them together and it would really be beautiful. I'll show it together after I show the earrings by themselves. Again, uh, Swarovski jewelry. It's stamped Swarovski in the back. It's not just the crystals. And these are gorgeous. All the crystals are there. Stamp Swarovski. Really nice. And um, I'll show it to you with the, uh, you know, if you were interested in that. See, that would be a beautiful set. They're really pretty. And um, these are going to be a buy it now. Uh, 49 which is a good price for these. They're beautiful. And they're clip-on. They have the little pads in them, so they're comfortable. They're stamped Swarovski. $49 is a good price. And like I said, if, if you were interested in the necklace, if you were thinking about the necklace, it would be a nice set together if you wanted to do that. Really pretty. Um. Okay. You know, the other thing about this storage locker, I keep going back to what I was talking about, the storage locker thrift store. Um, the one woman didn't really know a lot about what she had, and she had a lot of, a few designer handbags. And she had a Chanel bag that she was selling for $150, and I was a little leery because next to it, there was a bag. I mean, she wasn't selling it for much, but it was um, a fake um Gucci. You could tell it was fake. And I just, I, I didn't trust it. I have a, um, wasn't sure. It's in my video. If anybody wants to watch the thrifting video about lockers, um, yeah. Um, the storage lockers, you'll see the Chanel bag because I show it. And um, like I said, she was selling it for 150 and it was, if it was really a Chanel bag, that was cheap, but I wasn't sure. So if anybody wants to go back and check out that video and then type in the comments, if you think it's real or not, or how I could tell if it's real, I'll go back and double check on it because it was really cool, but I, I didn't trust it. I didn't, you know. Because I had one bag I bought once um, at a thrift store, but I didn't pay much for it. Um, and I thought it was real. These earrings are going to be a pass. And um, I did it through the authentication thing with Macari just to double check before I listed it, and it wasn't. It was fake. So um, I was a little leery. So that was the only thing about the storage locker place. It wasn't like a regular antique store where, you know, they really kind of know what they're selling or an antique mall. Or if you go to Goodwill, everything's cheap enough where, you know, you can take a chance. It doesn't matter. I, that's the only problem with it. I was a little leery of it for that reason. Oh, I wrote Peep. Why did I write that? Pass. You know, I, I have a cat named Peep and it's walking around. That's probably why I wrote that. Oh, here's a funny story. Um, my daughter has a bunch of cats. And she, her first cat she got, she named Tom because um, the priest in our parish was Father Tom and they were really close. So she named the cat Tom and he blessed and everything. Then she got another cat and she named it Peep after a rapper, um, Little Peep. So um, I was like, you can't do that because now you have Peep and Tom, like Peep and Tom. And she had no idea. She still, every time I, I my neighbors, I'll tell them like the older neighbors and they laugh. But she has no clue. She doesn't know what we're talking about. And she thinks we're crazy. But I think it's really funny. But that's probably why I wrote Peep. Because some um, people's walking around here. All right. I'm very chatty tonight. What do I have next? Um, This is gorgeous. This is... Let me check the... In Amadeo, made in Italy. This is a bangle bracelet. 
with a cameo. This is made in Italy. This is gorgeous. Now this will be a buy it now of 179. Um, this is just gorgeous. And it's made in Italy. You can go online, you can Google it and see. That is not a bad price for it. It's gorgeous. This is my um, high-end item of the night. Now, if anybody's interested in this, they can email me for pictures, you know, before they make the investment if they like it. But um, this is gorgeous. And this is made in Italy. Beautiful. Okay. Well, now they're playing a song that I think is really disco. I don't think it's really Motown. Wow, I know this is really cool. I have this for a while. I never showed it, but I figured let me pull it out because um, I don't wear it as much as I thought I would. And, um, you know, we'll see. Um, okay, we will pass. Let me put her up closer. Yeah, she's just gorgeous. It looks nice with that owl. Yeah, I mean, that's a big jump in these two pieces of jewelry, but it really is cool. Um, this will be a pass. Okay. I forgot I was wearing the owl. <laughs> okay, here's um, here's a cute pin brooch. My sister found this for me when she was thrifting. She thought I might like it, and it really is cute. And um, this also goes with my blouse. But it's enamel, metal. And um, I know somebody who sells these. She always calls them like flower power pins. This is really nice for spring. And um, these they, these were popular in the 60s. People wore these. Mid-century too. It's, it's kind of a mid-century style. I'm sure it's a mid-century brooch. Let me put it against here because it's, it's coming out really white. And you can't really see the polka dots. Good. Yeah, you can see it a little better up close. It's really pretty. Great for spring. Really nice for spring. And this will be a buy it now of 24. Really nice. And see it's layered. It's really a nice pin. Put it on. Really cool. Um, okay. This will be a pass. I'm going through everything pretty fast tonight. Uh, okay, here's a nice set. This is um, mid-century. This is a Bakelite set. Now, this I'm not going to separate. I did separate um, earrings and bracelet that were Bakelite at one point, and I was kind of sorry I did because the earrings don't really stand alone that well, um, and I still have them. So this I'm not going to separate. Um it is really, really cool. Okay. These are the earrings. They're clip-on. Okay. And they're nice size. And um, the white in the middle that makes it really different. I, I haven't really seen anything like this. And this is the bracelet that goes with it. And it is a gorgeous set, really beautiful. And like I say, pretty rare. Um, I've seen a lot of Bakelite bracelets. I haven't seen sets and especially earrings like this. These earrings are really different. Okay, so this set is a buy it now. Yeah, it's really nice of 129. Really nice, really different. Marissa has a lot of, even the earrings, a lot of marbling in there. It's the back, the clip on. Okay. I guess these will be a pass. Okay, now here's a fun brooch. 
Now, I don't, this doesn't look old to me. It looks like it was made to look old, but I don't know. It could be old, but it doesn't have a maker's mark. So I have no idea. But what I like about this is how high it is and how much definition it has. It's really pretty. But like I said, I don't want to say it's mid-century because I'm not sure. It kind of, it's kind of lightweight. So it, it seems like it's newer, but um, it's really nice. It's really three-dimensional. And really pretty. Um, this is the back. It does have this, um, you know, long piece. Sometimes they say if they have the long um, piece in the back, it means they're a little older. But um, not sure. It's just really, really nice. So since I'm not sure of the dating on it, um, this will be a buy it now for 18. Um, really nice. Really pretty brooch. That's it. It's really gold tone. Really pretty. Okay. So does anybody, well, tomorrow's Easter. I guess we all talked about that. That's kind of our plans for this week. Anybody else have any plans? If you don't celebrate Easter, are you doing something else? That's exciting or interesting. The weather's getting warmer. There's lots of things to do lately. It's nice. It's funny in New York. It's the weirdest thing when spring comes because you'll see somebody walking around with a winter coat and then somebody next to them will have like shorts. And a baseball hat. It's it's really funny because it is hard to let go of the, the, the winter clothing because there's still a little bit of a chill. And then some people just can't wait. Um, okay, this is I just got this. Now this is gorgeous. This is a Van Damme necklace. Long. I mean, it is beautiful. Okay. It's hard to see it. Um here is the Van Damme tag. And it's also marked here. Going to my friend's pool. She's having pot luck. Oh, that'll be really fun. Um, is it warm enough to swim in the pool? Is it heated? So um, this is gorgeous. And this is the closing. This is a vintage Van Damme necklace. This is beautiful let me put it up against here i mean first i'm going to put it on here so you can see like how long it is this is how long this is this is gorgeous gorgeous piece um and i'm going to put it on here so you can get a better look at um the beading on it um but this is amazing it's heavy it's nice and heavy not really but yeah it will be nice to sit by it and if it's a sunny day you know then you get some sun i mean I actually ordered this and I was thinking, oh, I don't know. I hope it's in good condition. It's, I mean, it's just beautiful. It's in excellent condition. It is gorgeous. And, whoa, the whole thing's falling. Let's do it again. Here it is. Okay, there's the Vendome. These are white beads. This is like butterscotch color. Um, these are glass. And then you have these clear ones. They have the little uh, gold tone caps in between. It's, it's a shame because the coloring is really hard to see. But um, this is beautiful. And this Vendome vintage upper length necklace is a buy it now of $115, which is a great price for this. This, this is amazing. And like I said, it's a mid century Vendome. Here's the, the hang tag, says Vendome. And it says it right here on this clothing, closing. And here's the pearl. You open it up here. 
Really, really nice. Okay, maybe if I hold them up this way, you can see it. Really nice. Okay, we're gonna pass on these. So we got two really cool high-end items. If anybody's interested and they want to email me, we have the Vendom necklace and we have the Amadeo cameo bangle, which these two pieces are in my collection and I decided to show them. I haven't shown them before, but um, if somebody's interested in them, they're really cool. Now this will be a pass. Okay, now this next piece is sterling silver and turquoise and it has some other stones in it but i'm not sure what they are. and this this is also beautiful this is sterling silver it's um thailand it says sterling uh 925 thailand um it has turquoise it has gemstones i'm not sure that looks like it's probably aquamarine not sure what this is and then we have these. This is like, um, this is a brown color. I don't know if you could see it has um, almost like tortoise type on it. And uh, then we have the turquoise and the gem colors. And then these are, this is a, yeah, these are brownish too. And um, this is the closing. Okay. This is the inside of it. Oh, it's moving a lot. Okay, and it says Thai 925, it says it in here on the inside right there. And the 